Hi there, YouTube. Um, home alone. I uh, thought I'd make a make a video here of uh, making some fry bread. Uh, there's a lot of people on YouTube I notice make fry bread. Um, it's a little foreign to me. It looks like they're doing something crazy. But uh, this is the native way how to make fry bread. Well, my way anyway. Um, you get your flour, uh, a couple teaspoons of baking powder. Throw that in there. Like so, uh, about half a teaspoon of salt. There you go. Salt shaker. Let's check that out. That's native right there. Okay, you mix it all up. Let's see here. I don't know. Just mix it. <laughs> It'll get there. Holy moly. Okay, and uh, water. Oops. You add your water, okay? Uh, <laughs> too busy looking at the camera. Oh, that looks full. Okay, um, I'll use this. I want to get my hands dirty. Okay, and then you just mix it up. A lot of people like to put milk in their in their fry bread. Um, the thing I say to that is. Natives, most natives, are lactose intolerant. Uh, you know why that is? It's because we never drank milk back in the day. Where the hell are we going to find a cow? Uh, <laughs> we had buffalo, deer, uh, some natives eat fish. But uh, cows didn't arrive till way later, till the cowboys. And cowboys were against natives, so I don't think they'd want to lend us any milk. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, you get this all mixed in nicely. Maybe you need a little bit more milk. Just just to kind of bind it, you know, get it to stick together and stuff. Um, let's bring you over here for a minute. What you want to do is you want to get your oil going, get it nice and hot, you know, get it, so that way it'll be ready when you're ready to make your, your little patties or fry breads or whatever. Okay, I'm going to get my hands dirty, screw it. Okay, so, just mix it up. Don't worry, if you added too much, too much, uh, water and it's too sticky or whatever, you can always add more flour. Don't worry about that. Okay? Um, I don't know if I can pause this. <laughs> but uh, I'll just keep doing it. Whatever. You guys can wait and see. See what it turns out to be. Uh, a lot of people like to use yeast in their in their fry bread to make it uh, make it more, um, rise more. The thing I say to that is this is fry bread, not pizza. Come on. People, don't cheat. It's fry bread. This stuff's got to stick to your ribs. You know, sometimes <clears throat> you got to eat stuff that sticks to your ribs because it just fills you up that way, you know? Oh, yeah, this is coming along nice. I don't know to be all right, I guess. Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to go fast here because I don't want to waste a lot of time, you know. And I don't know if I can pause my camera. But anyways, this is more or less it. So what you want to do, what I do is I take a chunk off. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully nobody steps on that. This is what I do, okay? Make it into a like nice little patty here. Get some flour on that sucker. I like them round just because civilization makes you think that a nice something nice and round is the way it's supposed to be. Plus if I'm making a burger I can cut it in the middle and be just like a bun. Okay? So 
So what you want to do, wait, I'll be right back. Pause that. I'm going to turn up my heat, nice and bright. <coughs> Maybe. Sorry about that, I'm back now. Okay, so you look, that, that's pretty round, right? I would get it more smoother if I had more time, but uh, good enough, whatever. Okay, come over, put it in your grease. Look at that bugger. Okay. Now, I should have grabbed this before, but uh, tongs. Don't want to get your hands burnt. Okay. So here's the tongs. There it goes, starting. Flip it over. Let it get brown. Now, what goes with Bannock fry bread is what I like to call native bacon or steak. Just some regular old spam. So, you take your spam, right? Make it into like a patty like that. Throw it in your pan. You don't need that much grease in your pan because Spam is pretty greasy enough. Okay, so you darken that. Oh, look at our fry bread here. Our bread is looking pretty good. Look at that, already getting nice and golden brown. You just want to keep, <coughs> keep flipping it. Alright. And maybe while you're doing this, grab a couple of these because it does get pretty oily. What I like to do is I like to set it, set it down on a plate, like so, all right? This time this should be getting nice and brown. Flip it over. You don't want it to burn. Flip it over like so. Oh, look at that, eh? Native bacon right there. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Nice and fluffy. Ready to go. Check that out. You may want to turn it down a little because you don't want to burn that. That's 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 not too good when it's burnt. All right, look at that. I think this is ready to come out. Oh yeah, it's ready to come out. Look at that. Nice golden brown. <whistles> wah wah. Let that cool off. Come back to this guy. Flip it over. See what I mean about grease? This stuff here will make you greasy. But yeah. Okay, so that's warming up. You want to grab your knife. Here we go. Just a bread cutting knife. Whatever, you know. Um, what I like is mustard. Shit, I gotta open a new, a new ketchup. Okay. Mustard and ketchup. This one, there we go, that was easy. Came off nice. There, now that's ready. <clears throat> All ready to go. Let's check out our, our native bacon here. Our steak. There's a native steak right here. Oh, look at that, it's coming along nicely. Okay, just turn it up a little so it'll speed up. Look at that. Now, what you want to do, you don't really want to do this when it's hot, because people say if you cut into grease bread when it's hot, it'll turn doughy again. So usually you want to rip it open, but just for movie sake, I'm going to cut it open right down the middle, just like so. See that? Look how awesome that is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ouch! This is getting hot. I forgot to shut it off. Okay, uh oh. Getting... So I'm just going to put this down there for now so I don't spill it. Let me show you this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is about ready. Turn that off. Turn that off. Go like this. Put it on your burger, like so. Look at 
Look at that. That's what you call good eating. Now if you're a chief or something, maybe one of the counselors, you'll be using real steak. But I'm just a band member. You know, so there's some ketchup on that bugger. Some mustard. Oh, look at that. So what I usually do is I close it, mix it around a little, open it up, flip these buggers over just like this. Okay? That way you get both sides. There we go. And that is what you call a nice, native, quick little hamburger. And uh, just so you all know, I said it once, I'll say it again, best believe, fat guys can cook. See you again, YouTube. Hope you enjoy.